So here is Auberné, where the Mont Saint Odile is. She's a saint. And by accident, she was born in a castle, a princess. And she found her light. All of, she was born blind and all of a sudden, she could see again. Of course, that's not true. Nothing is true. It's always by accident, a story of, our, of the pharaohs. You know, she became illuminated. And all these aristocracy, they always go in a ecclesiastical order afterwards. Yesterday I was in the castle, they got a library in it now, where she was born. And this is the place I filmed for you, um, which is a gate to the heavens. It is very special actually. Oh look, there she is! A princess! Oh, actually I slept on the, at the foot of it. So this here is Le Mont Saint Odile. It used to be an old, you know, Celtic site. What you see here is a monastery and they got a holy source here. And there's a pagan wall all around it, which is the biggest mystery in Europe. It's 20 kilometers long and really big. I already filmed it. I put it on my channel Chatsufrats or Gure. So they call it a gate to the heavens. Even an airplane crashed here with uh, over 200 dead, I think, in the 90s. Nobody knows how it happened. The, uh, all of a sudden, all the machines, you know, electronic machines that didn't work anymore. It was an Airbus. And uh, next to it, not very far, a little bit further on the other side, there is a gate with hell. It's called the Donon. You know, where they did, uh, and, ne and next to the Dono was the, uh, was the only real concentration camp in France with 22,000 people murdered. Uh, I'm going to film that for you. I don't want to spend the night there because it's full of demons. They already attacked me once. It seems I'm really lucky with the weather. You know, yesterday was All Saints, the day before Halloween, raining. Oh, look at it, gorgeous. There's a soccer stadium. I was playing soccer there yesterday. Nobody sees me here, people living there. <clears throat> There's sun coming out, nice. So I'm going to the gates of hell for you. Uh, the ambulance is already flying early in the morning. I heard sirens, must have been an accident. And there's a lot of people working here in the woods, you know. You get one of those on your head, you're done, you know. You're flat like this one. Yeah, there's a somewhere an indication of the path here. You see, and the Donon, they call it a temple. Now, what is the ingredient of a, the main ingredient of a temple? What's its purpose? To worship something or somebody. You know, well, it's quite clear what they're worshipping there, eh? Well, pharaonic stuff to your temples. Hey, Swiss, eh? Oh, we're almost there. Yeah, there's also another path. But, I, you know, weather is changing, so I want to be here quickly. How's it going? So when I was here 30 years ago, there weren't all these tourists yet. Nobody. Every time I came here, nobody is here. We didn't have YouTube yet, eh? We don't know how, for how much long, time longer. So this here, they call it the road. So this is where we're going. A temple. It's a pharaonic temple. And it was built in 1869. But this site is much older. So there it is. And um, it was built during the, uh, yeah, in 1869, when it still belonged to Switzerland or Germany. And uh, this area also belonged to Switzerland, like up, up to Mulhouse. And it was built during the First World War, this staircase here, uh, for the Emperor William II, you know, the warmonger. And they call it uh, the... Uh, the road of the, um, the path of the Saracens. Sar, Ra, 
sin. Og så er Ra's ånd. Sar, it means the king. Ra is the sun god. And on is Osiris. It's all pharaonic, eh? Don't you think the soldiers here, you know, they gave the name. The officers gave the name, yeah? This is all pharaonic. That means the pharaohs before, they've been doing, you know, with the Roman Empire, they've been doing human sacrifices here. And it is going on. So, I don't know what it says here. That's the path, another path going down here. So, well, let's go up the, uh, the Saracen staircase, eh? You see, it's again, it's red here. For the old world order. How do you know? Sar, Ra, Sin. Shall we go and count the staircases here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So the first part, there are 13. You know, first part until there, 13. And there's a second part, a third part, well, I don't have to count them, eh? Probably ends up in 33 altogether. So this path here is typically Roman. Yeah. Very typically Roman. So why the hell, for our so-called aristocracy, they give this so-called Arabic name for this path? You know, why? What happened here? Right. You know, it's all pharaonic. Sar, ra, son. You know, our masters. The Sarazins has nothing to do with Arabs. It's the Arab aristocracy, the Caliph, the Emir. They are the Sarazins. And, uh, you know, so even in during the First World War, they had a notion because of this, you know, things we're going to dis we discover now with the internet. And they knew it. Our masters knew it. The people didn't even know what a Saracen is. What, what the hell is a Saracen? Uh, no, I told you. Sar, Ra, and the rest. For our masters. During the First World War, they gave pharaonic names to all this. Relating to the demotic language of our masters. That means that before they were the emperor and, you know, the so-called European aristocracy, they already were the Saracens. Because Egypt expanded first in what we call now the Orient, you know. That's, you know, when the Freemasons ask you, you know, where are you going? You say you, you go to the Orient, you know, that's where they come from, right? And people didn't have one single clue. Neither the Germans, not the, the French. When we were dying by the millions, they gave it these fantastic pharaonic names. Sar, Ra, Son. Well, what do you know, eh? Let's go on. Yeah, let's talk about the Celts. And they also say the Celts did all the sacrifice here. They always blame it on somebody else. Sar, Ra. So, I mean, this is the path for the kings going to Ra. We're going up here to the sun god. Oh, I'll show you the sun god. Right? And I'll show you what you can do, what, what we'll do with you, eh? Well, there it is. Too many tourists. There was nobody here before. So, for the sun god, eh? It's from the 19th century. But the, the Romans were already here. So, we will shove up your, your sun god wherever you like it. Or not like it. So you see the antenna. This is why the demons get into the physical realm. That's why there's a whole, look at the fence around it, man. Look at it. A double fence all around it. Any here. Shut up. Fence all around. Red and white. Pharaoh. Because, you know, the, you know we can send videos with the Wi-Fi and all that through this invisible realm. And this is the same path the demons take. And I tell you, here, here are demons. At the time, I didn't understand it. I started really to understand all that with the demons. Yeah, well, anyway, Bob Larson, you should come here. And get rid of, get rid of some demons, eh? 
So they say, you know, they say here that the barbed wires are here because of the, uh, the anti-aircraft battery here during the first one. Well, what are airplanes want to do here in the middle of nowhere? Get out of here. And they blame it on the Celts and on the Celts as always. They do. It's always the others. There, were, there was no anti-aircraft battery. First of all, there were no aircrafts in the Second and the First World War. And I show you, there's nothing around here. What is an airplane going to do here? Oh, forget it, they all lie. Everything is a lie. The Templars, you know. <sighs> yeah. And you see, they call it a temple. What does it say again? Uh, yeah, the temple. Like in the Templars, the Templars. Yeah, they, they, even, they even talk about the red and white Tsar here. Tsar is the king. And red and white are the two pharaonic empires. They know what they're doing, I'll tell you. 1099. You know, that was the massacre in Jerusalem. That's why they, it, where we're standing here, 1099 meters. It's probably 1069, but I want to put this in it, you know. The big Templar massacre in Jerusalem, killing Jews, Arabs, and even Christians, because they're all having the same skirts on, eh? The same oriental skirts, like ladies. Hey. All lies. Can you imagine the red and white Tsar? The river is called the Tsar. Ah, the two streams. Oh, this is what it says in the Bible. When the two red and white streams, when they divide, then the end times are there. Doesn't it say that in the revolution, in the, in the revelation of John? And this is the Donon. It's the gate of hell. And I, you know, I've been here so many times before. I never ever saw anybody here, not even a car. This is so they get into the physical realm. And it's a bit too big, you know. You can see the entrance to this thing here, you know. There's our logo, four, four ovals. It says RTOF or RTF. Radio, television, frequency. It's too bad there's so many tourists. But anyway, here they were doing, uh, it doesn't say anymore, maybe they took it away, because I, I definitely read they were doing like human sacrifices here for Mer Mercure. Mer is the pharaonic word for a pyramid. There must be a pyramid here somewhere, maybe this is the pyramid. Mer, Mer, or Mer, R Meru. And Ka is the soul, Mer, Q, Ka, and Ra, Mer, Ka, Ra. And here, this is the name of this area. It's from another god. And here, Jupiter, Tar, Ra. Yeah. Yeah, you can see that. That's, that's why it's so important for them and still is. Our leaders. You can see the statues. They are copies. The real ones are in the museum. I don't know what it represents, really. They are exact copies. That's a woman. Yes, definitely. That's, uh, children. They sacrifice everything here, children, and it's going to happen again. There are nine, like the nine original Templars. The French are always talking, 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 talking. Can't you shut up for a while? So this is where I slept. This is the town. Here's the concentration camp here with the the statue on it. This is also part of the concentration camp. Here they had gas chambers. And uh, this is where we are. Don't know. You know, you see how near it is. You know. This is why, this is why, don't know, why they put the concentration camp right next to it. They had a lot of human material, see? And they continue. So this is a gate of hell with hell. 
a gate to hell. This one is a gate to the heavens, they say. There's a lot of things there. Mutzig. Sounds like schmutzig. Here they come into the physical realm. Talk, talk, talk. They talk somewhere else. So here you can see, uh, you can read it. Even the Merovingians were here and the Benedictines, who were also together, you know, uh, helping the Templar dudes. Um, they were looking for a thing called the Necropole, here it says. That means death, you know, where the Merovingians, the legendary thing, the me Necropole of the Merovingians. So they knew something, eh? Go talk somewhere else. See, it's gorgeous here, eh? So this is, maybe this is the gate to hell then, eh? Let's have a look. French is always talk, 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 and they don't do a thing, you know? They're not helpful at all. They just talk. You lose your energy, you listen to them. I don't even want to listen to them anymore. So here it says it's another temple, full of little temples. There were no dwellings. I mean, who, who wants to live here? It's satanic. They only have temples here. The Romans were here. They were all here. You could just read that before. So we're almost there. You know, the interesting thing is, you see, even the water has been up here. Or well, this has been down there. Where is it? Yeah, see, that was water when the earth moved up the continents and the uh, say gorgeous so we're almost there I have to put away my cam hello hello Swissy I know you're hiding there get, get out of there get your hands up criminal no you can't take your gold with you leave it there they say it's older, it's sandstone probably. You see, there it is. The temple, the biggest temple. A gate to hell. Yeah. Now, there it is, you know. Maybe here it is, the gate to hell. I swear, see, I know you're hiding there. So, there are 12 pillars. And, uh, you know, the French, they talk a lot, you know, they're like consumers, you know, they think, oh, it's interesting, you know, when the glamour is off, they dump you, you know. They're, they always want to have something new. It's absolutely useless, they are. You can't build up anything with them. They treat their women too like that, you know. Yeah, oh, you're charming, hey, you're beautiful, you know, when they're, when they're done with you, they dump you. Take another one. Ah. They're not mean, you know, they're, but they are useless. They don't do any harm. In other way than you, you know, losing your time. And I wish I could shut up for a while because I can't listen to it anymore. Been here for three years. It's just a complete. The people are just a complete waste of time. You can't make any friends. They just want something new to consume every time. It's absolutely useless. You see, it's gorgeous here. Switzerland must be about there somewhere. I was completely wrong. I should have looked at my compass here. Here it says Bern. Bern is over there. It's not there, as I said. It even says Bern, eh? In Geneva. Hey, eh, Swiss, eh? Stop moaning, French, eh? Useless croissants you are. So here I'm in the middle of it. Human sacrifice they did here, and they still do it. The 
That's why the concentration camp is just next to it. With our lying masters, the politicians and all that. Too many tourists. Too bad. Too bad they're not selling any croissants here so they could stuff one and shut their traps for a while. You croissants. Now yeah, look, there's the concentration camp here. I just saw the monument. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. I think that's the monument. So, and we are here. This is where they did the human sacrifice. You see, it's just, just near. And don't you think they ever stopped, you know? So 50, 52,000 people were in there during the whole war and uh, they murdered 22,000 and a lot of them, you know, children too, they sacrificed them here. And it's going on, I tell you, they just, the Germans just block the route, you know, it's very diff easy. Uh, look at the SS, you know, it's ISIS, skull and bones. The whole war was a satanic ritual. It was. It was a satanic ritual. You know, it, there are a bunch of liars, you know, satanic liars. The Nazis. I swear, say. You know, it's the same in Medjugorje, you know, where there's a lot of holy stuff going on and miracles and, you know. And Yugoslavs, they told me it's because it's next to Jasenovac concentration camp, which is considered to be the worst of all concentration camps. The river next to it, it was red. And this is where the Muslims, they did a jihad. Muslims always talk like, you know, the, um, the NATO, they're doing a jihad against them, you know, a crusade. But they were already here doing their crusades in France in the 8th century. They were stopped by... Uh, uh, the king, uh, the Hammer King, what was his name again? I forgot his name. And uh, actually, I looked at it, the concentration camp should on the other side, be on, the, on that side, but no. So, Jasenovac, Medjugorje. And here's the same thing, they built a concentration camp next to this site here. Uh, Medjugorje is also on a mountain. Uh, they're hiding us things, they make satanic rituals and they, you know, and I was sleeping in here, you know, somewhere on the other side, on the ridge, 30 years ago. And the moment I fell asleep, something tried to get in me, you know. I was really, I didn't know what it was in those, in those days, and I understand it. There were demons. It's full of demons here. So I don't want to be here in the night. Um, I suppose it's not that bad if you, as long as you stay awake. And the, uh, the Native Americans, you know, the shamans and the, uh, the Amazons, they say this is the time of the jaguar. The moment, you know, in between when you fall asleep, you can go, you can pass on in through the other world. And I got pr protected by something. I woke up with a, with a shock and I, I heard something laughing. Oh, 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 you know. That was the devil. I know it now. There were demons. It was the man himself. This is a very evil place here. And it's, it's next to Strasbourg, it's next to Switzerland, you know, where the European community is. You can see forests, you know, all, wherever you look around, you, you see forests there. It's amazing. <clears throat> the road of the Saracens will get out of here. Sarra. What else would you want to know, you know? Watch my film, The Swiss Beast. Still don't believe me. Even the words, all the words, Mercure, Sarazen. It's all pharaonic, right? Pharaoh. Home you Ross. <laughs> and you know, why is it so important to them, you know, to build that temple there, you know? In the middle of nowhere, you know. <laughs> yeah. because it's still going on, and they will sacrifice our children here very soon.
As I show you the suitcases, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. <clears throat> I wonder what that place is. Maybe they tell us they got another so-called uh, flag there, you know. A uh, anti-aircraft battery. <laughs> Get out of here. So, you know, Yasinovac and uh, in the Balkan, this is where the, the poor Palestinians, you know, who want to mobilize the entire world, you know, saying Zionism is a, is a threat to everyone. They want to do it again, as they had there in Yasinovac. They had a jihad going on against us long before, you know, the Gulf Wars and all that. You know, they, they, it's just, they lie, you know, they lie. And at the head of the, uh, the two, uh, you know, Muslim uh, divisions, one was called uh, Hanjar, the Hanshar. There was a Palestinian guy that moved of Jerusalem. So Medjugorje is also on a hill, eh? It's always the same, they always use the same system. And, um, and the other SS division they used against us was called Skanderbeg. Palestinians did this, they murdered 400,000 people, the poor Palestinians, in Europe. That's not a long time ago and it's, it's related to this place here. It's always the same system. Human sacrifice in the concentration camp next to it. You know, why build a temple in the middle of nowhere? Hey, eh? That was only 150 years ago. 1869 I think it was. Why? Of course our masters built it. Do you think normal people build it? No. The Freemasons. They murder people here, they sacrifice people as they've always been doing that. You know, to conquer us. That's their first, their first uh, battle. It's a magic battle. Propaganda. And they use demons to make us believe in them. You know, like Madonna and, you know, and all these, you know, it's all nice and glamour. So we believe in them, they're good. Or like the kings and queens and their glamour, you know. Or the Templar dudes that they're so good and all that. So go go join the SS or the Navy SEALs or go kill some people and you know. That's why they need magic and a human sacrifice. Too many tourists. It was better 30 years ago, it was nobody here. I wonder if this mountain here is hiding a pyramid underneath. And that's why maybe it's so worthful to them. You know. It doesn't look like it from here, but who knows? What was that? Never seen this, my, I don't know if you can see this, but my camera was doing quite weird. Never saw that before. And it is a weird place. Don't ever go here in the, you know, in the night or sleep here. So when it happened, you know, and I slept here the first time, some entity tried to get into me, you know, it happened like four or five times. I didn't know what was happening, now I understand it. So there were no any lads, you know, in those days, my, so I, I put my tent together. It was snowing, it was in winter time, nobody here. And uh, I had to walk down the mountain I didn't have any light, you know, after 15 minutes my batteries were flat. Oh, look, there's even snow here. November snow. Yeah. So, that was real difficult. And I did it again, you know, um, a 
couple of one year later, same thing happened. Something tried to take possession of me, and I got protected. And after four or five times, you know, I had to I had to walk down in the middle of the night in the snow again. And when I was in the light in that town, Shermek, yeah. I felt safe. It was gone. It was following me the whole way down. I could feel it behind me. Now I understand what it was, and it's all related. It's amazing how the sky is, you know, changing all the time. So stand up, people, before it's too late. It'll be too late soon. It's going on, concentration camps. Look at all the material they're having now in Syria and all that, the human material. Many children disappearing. It's always the same system, they're doing it everywhere. They build a concentration camp next to a site like this where they've always been doing human sacrifices, you know, for thousands of years. These pharaohs with their Saracens and their Mercure things, it's all pharaonic. And then they blame it on the Celts or whoever, or, the, or on the Germans. They, they just ran along with it. Yeah, it looks like before they even had a pyramid here. Look at that. There. Hello, pharaohs. That's an interesting house there as well. Some castle. You know, you imagine dragging it all up here. Now for what? Yeah, you know, put a McDonald's here or what? What's the use of it? It's occult, you know, by our masters. They're the only one who are, you know. There's nothing else here. It's for our masters only. kill people. This is how they win, you know, the first battle is the, uh, it's the magic one. So we believe them, you know, to hide the real faces. They use demons to do that. This is a very bad place and I know it because I slept here, you know. I remember where I slept somewhere on this side here. <clears throat> I think right down there I slept there. Well, I, no, I didn't. I, I tried to. I couldn't. I never did, and I don't want to. So I can clearly remember that, that before they had a... Uh, they had signs here and it said they, they, the Romans did human sacrifice here and the Celts. It's always the Celts, but of course it were the pharaohs. So I wonder why they took away the signs with, you know, saying that. Of course, you know, they don't want it to get known too much. I don't because there are more and more people coming here, probably. It's full of people. I never had, you know, wasn't like that before. Now remember, it was saying here. So that shield there, it looks all new to me, this one here. I remember there were shields like standing, you know, like on, on poles, not like this one here. So they just took it off. Some initiated Freemasons probably pushed them to take it off. And they say there are eight ones. So I counted this one too, but there are eight. Octagon. And these are copies. The real ones are in the museum. And so they're hiding it, you know, they took it away. You can probably find, still find that in Wikipedia that they did, really did human sacrifices here. I mean, that's why there is a temple. I mean, why the effort? Yeah. There's the croissants again, full of croissants. 
and just stuff your trap. Well, I liked it 30 years ago, it's different now, but uh, well, I got my cam. Oh, happy slaves, eh? <clears throat> so now I get it. I knew I was like uh, forgetting something, overseeing something. I did count them. So here you got four. On, on one side there are four, which is the concept of four for the square. And on the other side here, here there are three. The concept of three for the compass. So if you all the initiated ones, they can see the square and compass in it. Well, there you go. It's all fair on it, guy. It's it's everywhere. And they murder us. They kill us. Don't believe them. Of course, it doesn't say on the signs. You know here. It doesn't even say anymore that they used to sacrifice people. Well, look in Wikipedia and the Don Donon. The demon Donon. So there's this flat rock, you know, in, fr in front of it. So can you imagine yourself, you know, like lying on your back on that flat rock and so I don't know, what, some demon or spaceship or whatever the hell they've been doing here coming to pick you up or you? <clears throat> a flat rock on the, on the, on the top of a uh, thousand meter mountain, eh? Human sacrifice. Now they say it's a sacred sanctuary here. Yeah. And uh, it, it used to be a museum in the old times. Where, where did it say? Yeah. In the past as, as a museum, you know. Collecting souls probably. And here the, it's, a, you know, to come back to this part here, the red and white Tsar. That's where Trump comes from, eh? His ancestors, Swiss ancestors. That's where Swiss he also went to. You know, just after the 30-year war in 1648 when they murdered everybody. Uh, just like Obama's ancestors, it's the Palatines. And Tsar, it means the king. It's Tsarland. You know, they also call it the... Um, the uh, the Saarländische Schweiz, where the uh, the president of Eastern Germany, the DDR, you know, and the, uh, and, the, and, the and their Gestapo thing, where they came from. <clears throat> this is this is probably the place, this devil place here, where they talked about in the Bible, the two streams, red and white, where they divide. And they become, I think, the Moselle, uh, the, the Muse and the Rhine. I should have a different look at it. So the red and white Tsar, Tsar means the king, and they got the red and the white house of Pharaoh. I mean, why do they call it red and white king here? Why? Well, I mean, what's red and what's white about it? You know... It's a river, for God's sake. It might be blue if the, if the sky o overneath, over, you know, it, above it, it's like bluish. This is the, uh, and it's related to Trump, you know, with his, uh, the deceiver. He's the deceiver. You know, he's telling exactly what the people want to hear, you know. And it's with demons, you know, they make us believe them. And uh, this deceiver, well, here it all is, you know, the apocalypse coming together. Well, here's the guy from the apocalypse, probably. So again, this is the Donal, where the red and white Tsar coming together, or dividing. This is the monument we just saw, where the concentration camp is. Here somewhere there, Strasbourg. And here's that castle where there's... Um, this family, French family, with the children and all that, where they all bunch of children were where, where, where they were celebrating um, Halloween. You know, full of demons. I didn't notice it before, but this thing looks like a big coffin actually. You know, with a lid on it. You can see here, there's a lid on it. I wonder what's in there. Oh, it's got two parts, yeah. Probably 
probably all the soles in it. The pharaonic creeps. And uh, for the Indiana Jones is here, you know, with a lot of fantasy, this is the Ark of the Covenant, or whatever that might be. There's the, uh, the gate to hell. And there are the two red and white rivers dividing the Tsar, the king. Uh, there's a lot of ingredients here. <clears throat> a lot of ingredients for an end time scenario. I mean, in 18, 1869, when they erected this, you know, concept of three and four, uh, they get all the stones up here, you know, there were no cars, no machines, no helicopters, only horses. I mean, so much intensive work, you know, for nothing. As, as, as we would see, it's absolutely for nothing, you know. Would have cost a fortune. So many man hours, you know, wasted on nothing. But for them, it's very important. And if there is, you know, like all this, the Antichrist and all that, you know, it's near to Switzerland as always. Maybe he gets projected here. You know. Anyway, this is very important to them. And there have been a lot of people here lying on their backs on the cold stone and, you know, them doing whatever to them. Uh, and there's the sarcophagus here. Creepy place. And I know there are demons. You know, I was here. I know it. And they call it the gate of hell. <laughs>